I'm going to demonstrate today how to take your pre-wound warp. You have to say that really slowly or it gets tied around your tongue. And how to use the warp that is available in our weaving kits and how to take that warp and thread it through your rigid heddle loom. So all of our warps are chained when you receive them and you have a cross right at the top here. We put in what's called a safety string that enables you at any time to find the cross and to not have to worry about losing the cross because the cross is what keeps your threads in order. Now, I use this safety string and you want to take, it's here and it's tied very loosely as I think you can see, it's very loosely tied, big wide open loose chain. And you want to grab the other end of it. I try to put it in a contrasting color so it's easy to find. You want to grab the other end of it and then just lift it up. And what you're doing is by, give it a little shake, shake it out here, and it will show you where the two sides of your cross are. We're going to put our hand in these two sides of the cross and we're going to hold the cross in your hand while you're threading. So your thumb is going to go here, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, just like that in all four sides of the cross. I'm going to get set up here, get my fingers all set in here. There I am. It's just like a little claw. I can close my hand over it. I can leave the safety string in so that if something happens, I drop it or whatever, I lose my place so that I can find my way back to it. Now, at this point, once you've got your hand in the cross, you can go ahead and you can untie the string at the top of the loop, at the very top of your warp. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm not using any scissors. I keep all scissors away from the warp. I'm just going to untie that string by pulling the end just like that, open it up, and get rid of it. I don't need this thread any longer. It's served its purpose. It's held on to the warp at the end. And now that it's done, I'm just going to take it off. It's always more difficult when you're in the middle of trying to record something. And there it is, it's gone. I have a lovely little threading hook here. I think you've seen these. I've got a little hook at the top, makes it easier to thread. Um, I'm on a 12 dent reed. And as I said, I am using one of our weaving kits as the example here. My, my safety string is traveling. I gotta get it back to where it belongs. So here we go. And I have a little light on, a little headlamp that I always use when I'm threading. It gives me the most light right where I'm doing my, my work. So this string is right on top. I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to take this loop from the top, lift it up, and this, this is a very, very narrow little warp. So. I'm going to go in very close to the center. I'm just going to bring my hook. I like to use my hook facing up. I'm going to grab this loop and then I'm going to put the loop right here around the apron bar. And that's all you need to do. Now because I still have the safety string on, it's going to hold on to where I am and you can see that. So if you want to remove the safety string, it's certainly easy enough to do. All you need to do is, since it's so loose, it's safe to get your scissors. I try to keep a table next to me with scissors and threading hooks and everything that I could possibly need during this process. You want to keep it far, far, far from your warp and you can take and you can just go ahead and you could just 
cut the safety string out if you are feeling like it's getting in your way. Um, this is such a, a small warp that I've wound here that uh, I'm going to remove the safety string and now I better hold on to this cross or I'm lost. So then I take the next string which is right here lift it off and then I close my hand. I've gotten in the habit of closing my hand over the cross. Now that was already threaded. Okay, so I'm going to take the next one and I'm going to lift that off. Make sure I get the loop from the top. Put my threading hook through the slot. Grab the next thread, bring it through the slot and around the apron bar. So I'm just going to go ahead and work on this and after I've gotten these few threads threaded I'm going to come back and show you exactly how to put this warp onto your warp beam. I'm trying to concentrate on threading correctly and talk at the same time and sometimes that's a little difficult to do. So here we go in the next slot. Now make sure you're in the next slot and that's the other thing about holding on to your cross the way I've got my hand closed over it is if you do have a problem then you are able to hold on to your work and go back to it. And it's always nice to just give it a little pull, see that you're in the right place, make sure that you've got threaded through each slot and that there's no problem. And we're going to move on. As I said, it's a very, very narrow little warp that I have here. I think there are two more threads and I'm all done. So we'll just keep going. Here's thread number one, and then that comes off my hand, and then here is the last thread right here. All right, so my, my head is threaded. I'm going to put my loops back on. Make sure all your loops are facing the same way. I'm going to slide this off here. Slide off my rubber band. Get my apron rod with all the textile threads that are coming from the warp beam onto the apron bar. Now you want to make sure that these are in place and exactly where they belong. Make sure they're all straight. You don't want anything going crooked and make sure your apron bar is evenly inside your loom. Alright, so that should do it. And here's my warp all set. Now, you will notice 